Hello humans, it's Dr. Noel Williams. I want to talk about vaginal atrophy and menopausal medicine for a second. One of the things we deal a lot with is older vaginas, which seems like an odd thing to say, but it's part of my job. And so we have to fix vaginas and bladders that aren't doing so well. And one of the exciting things about that subject is we can fix 99% of them. So just a little update on that. Um, old school wise, we used to only have estrogen, which we'd put in the vagina or we could give shots of or things like that. Well, currently there's several products that we use to get the vagina better because the vagina is always rehabable unless it's been irradiated. And so in that case, it can be a lot harder to fix, but most of the time we can get those vaginas much better too. But in a non irradiated vagina, over 99% of the time we can get it better. So the standard approaches include for this issue now, estrogen um, topically in the vagina. And there are several that are not messy and don't absorb into the body. So one of the concerns about estrogen is, oh, it could be bad for me. Well, there are estrogens you can put in the vagina that only work on the surface. So you can put those in the vagina and they don't go into the body. They only work a couple millimeters in, so they're totally safe for anyone for any circumstance, even breast cancer patients or people who've had strokes or heart attacks. But if we don't want to even expose a person to those, we have something called intrarosa, which is a DHEA capsule, which is called an intrakin substance, meaning that it absorbs, it goes into the cell in the vagina and turns into estrogen just within the cell only and turns the cell back to normal. So it's a cellular estrogen, not even a surface estrogen. So it's completely safe for someone too with no absorption at all. And it's phenomenally effective. So we have that to pick from too. And then we also have the Mona Lisa laser which is just a laser energy device which rehabilitates the tissue. And I always want to point out that a laser device is different than all these electrocautery devices that are out there that are not truly meant to rehabilitate the vagina. They heat the tissue and cause scarring and inflammation, which can be a little helpful, but actually damages the tissue. The Mona Lisa just agitates the tissue and rehabilitates the entire surface so it improves lubrication, stretchability, internal orgasm, vaginal infections, and then also gets the bladder for urgency, frequency, nocturia, stress incontinence, irritative urethral symptoms, and bladder infections, and then pelvic floor dysfunctions. So some combination of those treatments is going to get over 99% vaginas and bladders completely better. So if you're having any vaginal problems, we should be able to get them fixed or you can glare at me. <laughs> so just a little summary on vaginal atrophy and bladder things. So if you're having any problems with them, we should be able to get them fixed. And there's se several more new technologies uh, coming out that we will probably be adding in the near future. So more and more stuff all the time to pick from. So take care.